I think the why is different for everyone. There's a part of being human inside of all of us that is inherently wants to explore and discover. And I believe that you know, some of the next steps for humanity are going to be onto our moon or off to Mars and uh, hopefully further out into the universe. Hi, my name is Trent Tresh. I work here at the Space Analog for the Moon and Mars, and we are currently building a fully hermetically sealed Mars research habitat. We're trying to use this as a platform for researchers, scientists, artists, and everyone in between to come and create the technologies and the operations that will help us sustain life on other planets. We're doing that here at the Biosphere 2 because we have this historical building, the test module, and this is the perfect setting for us to really renovate and repurpose for future technology and applications. With this facility, what we're hoping to do is focus on a few core concepts, such as a transition from physiochemical and like mechanical life support systems to bioregenerative life support systems, putting people in EVA simulations and providing opportunities to test tools and other technology. We're going to have a fully functioning Mars yard here at the facility to not only uh, test different tools, but even rovers. We'll be able to really play around with those different terrains for a variety of applications. This platform is so unique because it's hermetically sealed, which means when we close the door, the inside atmosphere is completely separate from the outside atmosphere. And what that allows us to do is focus on things like a CO2 scrubbing, plant-based life support system, studying a microbiome, things that you may only be able to do right now on somewhere like the International Space Station. Something that's really fascinating that I think people forget about sometimes is that by exploring space and developing these technologies that can uh, allow people to stay alive in harsh environments or, or other planets, those technologies can be applicable to life here on Earth. And when we're looking at bioregenerative life support systems or we're looking at the ecology in these types of ecosystems, that technology and that information, that research can be transitioned into uh, supporting diversity here on our planet and enforcing sustainability. I think we're living in a really exciting time right now. I think it's just the beginning for science and research in commercial space. It's worth reminding people that there's still so much out there left to be discovered. It's waiting to be engineered and uh, art that's waiting to be created. Everybody can play a part and a significant part. And to me, that's really exciting.